Hello, hello YouTube. This is Mary again. I've been missing in action for a little while. Just, you know, sometimes you have to just kind of be still and get your mind together, regroup. That's what I've been doing. Health-wise, I've been doing pretty good. Just had a uh, a small exacerbation, exacerbation with the MS, but it, it's not bad at all. I got over that. It didn't last for about maybe a week or so, but I'm um back at a hundred percent. But I want to talk a little bit today about oh, I guess about the end times. Look like everywhere you look, people are talking about the end of the world, and you know if you're not careful, and we are not careful me included we'll get taken up and taken aback with that and just get panicky and nervous but this kind of talk has been going on since forever you know back i guess since the day that uh, you know when jesus left his disciples even in their lifetime they were looking for him to return in the sky so that's just how it was and people are still looking for the rapture to come but I think so much about the Bible and the stories and you know when you think about the Jewish people as a whole they are some great storytellers you just can't beat them and that's why Hollywood is so successful I believe because of the mind of the Jewish people they can tell a story Hollywood is full of stories and most of your writers are Jewish writers so the Bible is written by them and that's why it's so you know it can just sweep you off your feet so the Bible does that kind of thing and uh, in all everything we do we still have to get an understanding of what's going on because we can be mesmerized with the story and begin to believe it. And and the Bible or church can make you feel guilty because you do not believe it. Like I said before, I am not a believer. I am a knower. I have to know. And the only thing I can know is what I know that happened in my life. That's my truth. So... I feel real confident when I talk about what I know, my truth. But, you know, you think about this. People are talking about different things with the CERN and what's going on and the black hole and the climate change and the weather, just so much going on, wars, rumors of wars. But this has been going on forever and a day. Think about this. Remember when, I think it was 1999, yeah, it was 1999, when we wasn't sure how the the uh, computer would register the year 2000. Everybody was so afraid. And my massage therapist, Sharon, bless her heart, she's the one who introduced me to Reiki. And she, oh my God, she just went all ham out she spent all of her savings and Sharon did have quite a bit of money because she was telling me she said Mary your money is not going to be any good she spent all her savings and she had just married this man and to me he was just a gold digger looking for a couch to serve from but she bought a big storage you know she she, she rented two storage units and then she got this big kind of like a mobile home and put it in her backyard Sharon went to the extreme she bought so many canned goods she spent so much money because she believed that the world would end when the clock turned to the year 2000 and she preached with me and she wanted me and my family to go in the shelter with her and i told her sharon i can't do that i just can't if it's the end of the world so be it it's nothing but death i mean what's what could be worse than that i mean if you're living and you're suffering that's worse than it's worse than dying so uh about i say about 
30 minutes or an hour before midnight that, that night. She called me and she was crying. And she said her goodbyes and farewells and you know, I didn't cry, but you know, I listened to her story. I said, okay. And I made the mistake of saying, I'll talk to you uh, next week. And she, Mary, we won't be here. You won't be here. I said, oh, okay. I feel, I'm sorry. But as we all know how the story ended, we are here. And I was, I, did, I was kind of, I didn't know what to say when the caller, you know, after it didn't happen, you know, I didn't want to rub it in her face, but I think about a couple of weeks after that, I called her and uh, see if she could book me in for a massage. And she was kind of indignant and she said uh, she had to get rid of all this food that she had. And she wondered if I needed some. I said, well, I mean, you always need food, but I wouldn't need that kind of that much food. And she um uh, said she'll just donate it to Salvation Army or whatever. And I guess about a month later, she called me and said that she and her husband were getting a divorce and that, that everything was over because they didn't have any money. So you see what, how this, people can hype stuff up and she lost everything because of a hype. That was in the year 2000. Then we go to the Mayan calendar thing and that, what was it, 2012, that didn't happen. They made movies about it and everything, the Mayan calendar, and it's, it's steady going on. And now I do believe one day, <laughs> I guess, I don't know, one day is going to end. I know it's going to end for me. I don't know about the rest of the world, but I know it's going to end and how, I don't know. But it's going to end in death some kind of way or another, but. I just don't believe in just dragging everybody in the whole world in the grave with me. But we we have got to use some common sense when it comes to these kind of things. Let me straighten up my laptop. But I don't know. And people are really, really serious about that. The end of the world and, it's, and when it doesn't happen, people act like they didn't even see it. I remember when... Uh, Barack was president. Everybody said he was the Antichrist. He, and, and some of them are still saying it now. I mean, they looking for the Antichrist. And I studied a lot about the book of Revelation. And the Antichrist, is it means the person who is standing in the place of Christ. It's not like he's against Christ. It's like Christ is not here and I am representing Christ. And that was the Pope's duty back then. He was the Antichrist. That's what his, his role was. So if I just had to believe in the Bible and Revelation and all of that, I would say the Antichrist is the Pope's Pope. But like I said, you know how I feel about the Bible. I can't throw the Bible away because there's so many jewels and so many good things among the trash that's in there. It's kind of like... A, a fisherman and he's casting his net in the waters and he's dragging the sea maybe two or three hours or maybe two or three days but when he pull in his net it's all sorts of stuff in there sharks are just you never know what's gonna come up in the net but you don't throw away everything in the net because it doesn't look like something that you need but they they sort through it and get the goods out so I do that with the Bible I do that with relationships. I, I do that with everything. I just, it's kind of like throwing the baby out in the bathwater. So I try my best not to. But when I find people or situations that really upset me and are so negative, I have to throw the whole thing away and try to remember some good in it. But if it's mostly negative, I just have to say, pray for them and, you know, wipe the dust off my feet and go on. But I, I, would, I want people to not get upset about things that you hear. We hear a lot of things and people are talking about the superconductor collider and the black hole and that the collider has been going on for I don't know how many years, 2008, I guess. And if it was gonna send the earth in a black hole, it would have done that by now. 
but that's not what the thing is for is is i don't know but when people don't investigate and understand and people are talking about the weather machines and we've had strange weather since the beginning of time i guess you could say it was a weather machine that caused it to rain <laughs> to rain 40 days and 40 nights in the days of noah was that a weather machine then hmm no it wasn't a weather machine the weather is is it changes and and it's, it's no such thing as weather machines it might be cloud seeding and they've done that and they do it a lot when uh you got these uh fires and things they can kind of see the clouds and make it rain but it's up to us to do the investigation that we need to do to get a better understanding of what's going on but i find myself a, a lot of times now where i'm so lazy yeah that's the word lazy and i don't feel like investigating or remembering sometimes i don't even have to investigate just remember and I don't find myself in a panic because of stuff I heard, and I can see it to my son, and he'll look at me like, Mom, are you really crazy like that, or you just, you getting dementia? And I have to laugh, and I say, oh, that does sound stupid, doesn't he? he said, yeah, you stay on that computer too much, and you need to do some, learn to do something else. So, we just have to remember, and remember what you learn in school. And uh, people with this flat earth theory, I tell you, you know, the back in the day when the uh, astronomers were figuring out that the, the earth uh, rotated, uh, was in the center of the universe, and when they figured out the earth was round, these astronomers, they were killed because you were, you were committing heresy and uh, blasphemy if you did that so a lot of people died uh because of the truth so let's not go back to the dark ages and say that the earth is flat because if the earth was flat I, and, and <laughs> this is one time I, I had to prove this to myself when i first heard it years ago i said well let me do an experiment because i know the earth can't be flat but let me just kind of clear up my mind so I got a, a big a cardboard box. It was I think it was about thirty six inches by twenty inches. So I, I cast the light on it. And then I drew some lines and I you know, like this was United States, Africa, Europe and uh, Australia. And I said, Well, hell, if it was flat then we wouldn't need time zone. The sun the sun would shine everywhere we are saying the sun would be there for everybody at the same time don't you think it would, if it was flat but it's not flat that's why we have the different time zones it's like like right now it's nighttime here in the united states and in australia or new zealand it's like maybe 11 o'clock in the morning so that lets you know that the earth is not flat so when we find ourselves kind of falling uh, by the wayside with all of this uh, garbage that we listen to, I'm not saying you listen to it, but me, I can kind of forget. <laughs> just, just remember, the key is to remember and then take a break from the foolishness and, and put your mind, I have put my mind, focus my mind on why I am here, why I know what I know. And like I say, I know what I know. I've seen many miracles and it's just, it, it, it's, I have to smile and say, yes, that did happen. And I am so blessed that the things that I've seen that other people have seen it too. My friend, Harold, he's seen some strange things. My youngest son, he, is a witness and so it's not like i don't have anybody to testify that mary is not crazy that really happened so just just find you something that's true in your life not something somebody told you 
go dig in your little box your where you hide your stuff and dig and find your miracles and remember your miracles and this way you don't have to be upset about what these people are talking about and I guess people are doing stuff for the sake of a click and a view or whatever because I don't know there's a lot of noise out here the uh, police and stuff but I don't know what that is. Trucks, I guess. But anyway, I thought I'd just uh, come by and, and holler at you guys. Let you know I'm still here and, and being blessed and just holding on. That's all we know how to do. We don't know how to let go. So hold on. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.